everyone. Welcome to the finale of Undertale. And before we start playing, I just wanted to say thank you to anybody who has watched the entire series. If you haven't, well, you certainly are missing a bunch of fun, fun gameplay and just, you know, good time hanging out with you. Anybody who has watched me, I do feel like I have been watched and that, you know, it's really fun playing. This game has been a real joy. The music has been just solid throughout the best soundtrack I've heard in a very long time, if not ever. So, you know, just thank you. And I can't wait for the next game, which will be Shovel Knight, Plague of Shadows. And with that being said, let's get on to the finale. It's been a beautiful, beautiful, it's just been everything. This game is really nice. The art, style, the, uh, uh, the, um, you know, the, um, earthbound sort of feel to it. The, just everything has been really, it's been really beautiful, and I can't wait to fight this, or do this final, final thing we have to do. Let's see. There's no music anymore at the new home. So there's no um. Hmm. Well, there's no music, so this is definitely new. Hmm. Just a quiet walk, I guess. Definitely does set the mood. Uh. As we're we're nearing the final corridor, so uh. Let's see what happens. This the scenery is very nice. The new, the capital, I believe, the domes and everything. What's down here? Oh, the last quarter is there. Sand's gonna be here. Is anyone gonna be here? We'll find out. Nope, no one's here. Everything is very quiet. <laughs> Let's do this. Here we go. Oh my God! What does this say again? throne room. Still no- well, there's the birds. Oh, wow. Still, there's no checkpoint here anymore, wow. That means that we've done it. Welcome to the- oh, wow, this is the room after if you fight Asgore, I thought? Yeah. That was the room after you fight Asgore. Oh, no. Before. <laughs> And once again, we've made it to the end. It feels like, it feels like, oh, this again. It's the end. Yay. Maybe we'll do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, I forgot Asgore was here. Oh, I totally forgot because we didn't, we didn't quote unquote kill him yet. This is the barrier. This is what keeps all, uh, all of us trapped underground. If by chance you have any of this business, please do what you must. I will continue. I see. This is it then. Oh wow. I'm ready. And I hope you are as well. Once again, a strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination and as we all know, this isn't over. We have to fight Asgore. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh! Oh! It's that fire again. From... Oh, there she is! <laughs> what a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let, them, to let someone leave here. <laughs> is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. 
As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Don't Tori me, Dreamer. <laughs> Don't Tori me! You pathetic whelp! If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you had one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed up everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because it only takes one soul to cross the barrier, it takes seven to destroy it, I think. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. Aw. It's a bit hard. A bit hard on him, but do you think we can at least be friends again? Sigh. No, as for... Well, I'll get, get, um, denied. Hey, Undyne. Asgore, human, nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you too. Does she still have the apron on? I guess it's just her shirt. <laughs> hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> hey, Alphys. <laughs> hey, nobody hurt each other. <laughs> Somebody already said that already. Are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Hi. There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone again. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask on nine for help. <laughs> I like those eyes. Hello, oh, hello, your majesty. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? I don't understand. I don't get that. What do you mean and clone himself? There's no, there's not two of them. That's what I don't understand. Whatever. Hey, it's Sans. Hey, guys, what's up? That voice. I think we may know each other. Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel, so nice to meet you. The name stands. And same. Wait, then... This must be your brother Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It's so nice to finally meet you, oh he's blushing. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wow, I can't believe Asgore's clone. Oh. They're not clones. Damn, Papyrus, you need glasses. This is just the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. Skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you've just gotta stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. <laughs> oh, hey, Metaton. Oh my god, will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. <laughs> hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. <laughs> right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys, no. He's right. Let's do it. <laughs> well, uh, I guess, if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Oh god, this is awkward for everyone. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Look at <laughs> Asgore. He's just like, um Yeah. Nope. Well, not in front of the human. Oh no, I that should wait. Oh sorry, I got a little carried away there. He my child it wow, Sans, you just teleported. It seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at the great friends you have made, I think I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her, as in Toriel, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. Oh. Shit. A tiny flower? This can't possibly end well. Oh god, it's the vine from Omega Flowey. Oh dear lord. Flowey, you son of a bitch. No! I know I know this already, but no! Why? <laughs> Sans, his eyes is just nope. You idiots. While you were having your little powwow, I took the human souls, because they were still in their canisters. Obviously, those canisters are really easy to open because a flower could open them. I know he has hand vines, but 
I guess those rubber gloves help. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend's souls are going to be mine too. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them, without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. My ultimate power, super mega, uh, hexagon form. Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach, and then tear it away before you grasp it over and over and over. Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Oh shite. This can't possibly end well. Even if it means killing you one million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, decillion times. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh god, no, please. Oh my god, wow. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Oh my god, I, I got I gained a health. It must have been just my tem, tem armor. That's right, human, you can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. Oh, they're giving me determination. So don't worry. We're with you all the way to the end. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on me. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of, human of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Oh my god, it's everyone! It's the Monster Kid! Come on, you got this! We're with you too! You can do it! Ribbit! <laughs> ribbit! <laughs> Just ribbit, you know. And there's the dog. No! Unbelievable! This can't be happening. You're- you! You! I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! Uh, my skin's gonna crash again. <laughs> wow, this is longer than before. Jesus. Oh, hello there. Your head's on backwards. Oh no, never mind. Oh, you have fists, and you're laughing evilly. That's not good. You're like, whoa, ha, ha, laugh evilly because my head is shaking up and down. I gotta stretch. <laughs> Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Oh, wait, the only other person who says howdy was Azriel, that I think was in the tapes. He said howdy. <laughs> Man guy, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Well, we know that we're we're not playing as Man guy. We're playing as Frisk, who is apparently the this the human now. Man guy is the character that we named, who is the the hum the first one that fell that Azrael befriended. So this must be Azrael. It's me, your best friend. Oh, it's Azrael Dreamer. Oh God, this is it. It's the end. Oh my god. And here we go. Um, I'm gonna dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Wow, I already got hit. That shows... Oh, here we go. This is the background. Listen to this. The rainbow text is great. 
You held onto your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Oh god, what is this? Oh, the stars. Even with that, I still took 3 damage, which is eh. Um... Hope. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. I love that, like, shaking face. I do like that animation. It's like... Oh god. Oh, I got hit once? That was nice. Um, hope again? Damage reduced. After I defeat you and gain t total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Oh, the swords. Okay, um, follow him. Oh god, you tricked me. I love this music. I'll bring your memories back to zero, I think that's what I said. Something along the lines of that. Oh god, this... Wow, I don't think I got hit. Maybe once again, but that's good. Um, hope again. Right, I guess I gain health when I hope. Now we can do everything all over again. This music is just epic. I don't want to stop fighting this. It's just amazing what Toby's done that you can just play the game and get the truest ending by not killing anybody. Literally, this game is the moral of friendship and magic. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. You'll keep playing it over and over and over. Oh god. Run away. Um, I guess... Oh yeah, we have Last Dream, which I'm not gonna do right now. I'm gonna eat my Astro food. And then you'll lose to me again. Oh, the swords? Okay, follow him. And again. I sort of understand how to do that one, but that one's the harder one. I guess I'll eat a... Crab apple? No, I'll eat a bicycle. And again! I don't know how you dodge that one. Galactic. To blazing. Well, uh, obstacle. Because you want a happy ending. That's what I do on a happy ending. That would be the, um, thing that I want. Yes. I got hit twice. I get hit three times. Because you love your friends. Well, I do love my friends in game. Because you never give up. Oh my god, how did I dodge that? Um, crab apple. I thought of that game. Oh no, that doesn't boost my speed. Oh. It's, it's gonna be your downfall. Something. I'm sorry for not reading it, I really am. Nice. Did feel pretty well on that. Now enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. What is this? Oh, it's this one. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Dodge things. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That was the tightest... That was, like, the tightest spot I can get into. God, I was trying to not make a sexual reference. Wow. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow. You really are something special, but don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what your determination is. Let's see what good your determination is against this. I'm getting fatter. Not really. Oh, this music. Azrael blocks the way. I can only struggle. Uh, um, struggle. Can't move your body. 
Behold my true power. Well, I can move. I can move my soul. Damn, that does 4 damage. I can't... I can't even get an item. I can't even eat anything. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in, in a world where no one remembers you. And this again, crap. Damn. I still can't move. You're, that's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Oh, well, I died. Wait, what? Oh, crap. But it refused. I can still only struggle. Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Aw, oh, man. Try and, like, only get hit once. Oh! You try to reach your save file, nothing happened. You try it again to reach your save file, nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. Oh god, now it's a save! I gotta save the souls! I think we'll do Sands of Papyrus first. Or Sands. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. Oh, I'm blue now. Um... Recipe. You asked the lost soul to cook you something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide his joy. I must capture human. Just give up. I did. Oh, crap. Oh! <laughs> Puzzle. He has to also help with the puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Then everyone will. Why even try? Oh, crap. <laughs> Damn, that's not good that I'm getting hit by this. Oh, God. This is not good. Um, crossword. You tell the lost soul you think that crosswords are tougher than jumble. It nods its head. Then, like, it knew this without question. No way, you're my friend. I could never capture you. Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. There we go, we saw we saved two of them. Something's resonating again. It's undying. Um fake hit. Something it, about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. Um recipe. You asked the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kinda wants to teach you how. You're a real enemy. You clashed against the lost soul with all of your might. She recognizes your fighting spirit. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Oh no, no fight. Alphys. I want to save Tori for last. Oh, she has her dress on. Um, nerd out. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. Oh, I didn't know what the question was, I'm sorry. Oh, run away. You asked for help on a quiz. She barely holds back from giving you the answer. I've got to keep lying. No, you don't. Tell the truth. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Suddenly, she remembers. It's all flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you, too. This music. Okay, Toriel and Asgore. Here we go. Mercy, you, you refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. This is for your own good. Oh wow, that was really close. Um, hug. You hug the lost soul. It seems to like, it seems like his aggression is slowly melting away. No one will leave again. This is my duty. You tell the lost soul you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. 
Oh god, I got hit. Whoa, damn. Mercy, the other one. You tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You you're f feel your friend's souls are resonating within Azrael. Save someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. What are you doing? What is it? Oh my god. Oh, is that Azriel? Where are the horns on that one? On that picture? Whatever. It's very cute. It looks like fire, though, in the background. There might be trees. I like how the face is hidden, too. But anyway, well. Wow. You feel your friend's souls resonating in Azrael. Azrael looks like he's tired. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, I don't need anyone. Oh god. Stop it. Get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. You can try. Uh, it's not going to help. You're only doing less now. Man, guy, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? Oh, it's like the attack from before, except now it's sort of like, looks like crying. Looks like tears. I'm doing this because you're special, man, guy. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. This music. It's picking up. That's n not just it. I'm doing this because I care about you, man, guy. I care about you more than anybody else. Can I get hit? I really can't. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. Get hit by it. Uh. <laughs> so, oh wow, he's really crying. Please stop doing this. He's like ranting. And just let me win. Oh, oh god. I can't. Well. Stop it. Well, I'm not doing anything. I'm just, I'm just living is all. I'm persisting. Oh jeez, that's a lot of zeros. All I have left to do is save Azriel. Mangai. I'm so alone. Mangai. I'm so afraid. Mangai. I Oh my god, there he is. There's Ezreal. I'm so sorry. I always was a cryberry, wasn't I, Mangai? I know, you're not actually Mangai, are you? Mangai's been gone for a long time. Um, what is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only had my own compassion back, but I can feel everyone, every other monster as well. They all care about each other so much, and they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alpheus, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Frisk, I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I actually, I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt you so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. You know what's funny? So as a child, I would have thought that bystander would be like um, a weird word. Like, you know, sophisticated. He seems like a young kid. Anyway, there's no excuse for what I've done. Well, there's always an excuse to forgive. Frisk, come on. You're you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep those souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, 
there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for our monsters to finally go free. What are you doing? What are you doing? The barrier was destroyed. Well, wow. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Comfort him or do not. Why would I not? Look at him. Look at his sad face. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, this is so emotional. It really is. I'm not lying. Oh my god, pat on the back. Just pat on the shoulder. I don't want to let go. Well, you let go anyway. Frisk, you're, you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Wow. Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you are awake, thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us the next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah. You made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! <laughs> now, now, the, t the important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk, why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. How about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what... I have not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Well, I guess we'll talk to them, see what they have to say. This music's really, really just nice. Every, everything. I keep saying, oh, this is nice. I, it's, it is. It's great. Hi, Frisk. Alpha's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check this out. Oh, man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned, and also that she's a huge dork. You two are each other. You two are, you two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Wow, those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Frisk, Tori was telling me how she made bescotch pie for you. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Oh, that sounds really good. Cooking, can I help? Wait a second, can I help too? Certainly, it would be fun to cook together. On second thought, maybe I'll order a pizza. 
So Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? The journey that they journeyed all the way. Why, and I'm still here, not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. So, Alpheus, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course, I'm going to go out and, um, no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. You're not losers if you watch anime. I just don't. That's the spirit, everyone. A celebration to being losers. Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing that has ever happened to me. So I'm glad that we... What is it, Asgore? What's an anime? Oh my god, Frisk, please. Help me explain to, uh, uh, what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but with... Okay, everyone that I've seen says with swords. I want to see what happens when we say guns. So it's like a cartoon with guns. Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Hold this, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, um, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots kissing? <laughs> Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so let's talk to Alphys now. Fisk, you've got to tell me, do you think Asgore and Toriel are ever going to get back together? Okay, I don't think so because Toriel seems really, really, really mad and really upset at something, so I'm saying no. I just want to see what happens. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream, though, right? And write fanfiction a lot. Yep. Oh, uh, maybe I won't write the fanfiction of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Don't tell anyone I said that, because I'm going to post it online. Oh, okay. Howdy, first. Sorry that... Sorry about trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everyone tried to kill Frisk at least once. Well, except for Toriel. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. This is just great. So I'll see y'all on the other side. Here it is. It's the end again. But this time... It's... The end. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I think we're all ready. Wow. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful? Everyone? Wow. It's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh, but you're a fish. You shouldn't be saying that. I really feel alive. Hey, Sands, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wow. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Well, just because you escape doesn't mean all the other humans in the entire world are going to accept you, but I hope they do. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the ambassador? Yes. <laughs> Frisk will be the best master, and I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Oh, well, bye. Don't say, don't say come up. Well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Why would you go the opposite way? Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait. That's what I thought. Oh, I get it. Sans was too lazy, so Undyne helped. Wait, Undyne, wait up. Okay. So there goes everyone. Whoops. Um, should I do something? Oh, that face. Well, gotta go. Oh, geez, Torio. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. 
Frisk, you came from this world right, so you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. I have places to go. No, I want to stay. What, Frisk? You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everything is waiting for us. Wow. And this is Undertale. This has been Undertale. It's all Undertale. Welcome to the credits. <laughs> frog it. Professional frog. Wimps and braver every day. Oh, it shows who I made, who I was friends with. Moles Ball, backup dancer, Luke's reform bully by Temi, Vegetoid, popular nutritionist, and Mig Migasp. Casually enjoys life and naps to Luke. Nice go, spooky DJ. That is a great hat. It, it is. <laughs> oh my God! I like the bird. This makes sense. Remember, he said he wanted to ride his his car bed. He wanted to ride his car bed on the highway or whatever. And <laughs> the sands. Oh my god, wow, this is like, this is the true ending. It's the true credits. It's very, now the credits is like nice ice themed snow drake. Semi successful comedian. Ice cap, thinking about its hat. Oh, I never did that. Oh well. I don't think I did Griff Trot either. Finding peace and quiet. Has his own seeing eye dog. Wow, now. Dogney and Dog Garessa by Toby. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. So I think that these are like the mini bosses, like when it's just that centered. Lesser dog and greater dog, both by, by Temi and Toby. By Toby and Temi. Excited by life's changes, searching for affection. I wish I could see you too. Oh, yes! I love this theme. Undyne, designed by Toby, armor by Temi, fashion help. I love how like a lot of people made Undyne because Undyne had so many um things with the armor, and now this. There's Onion Sin. Nine 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 nine. No, screw it. I'm pulling up the cast. Not flowy. Not flowy. Aaron and there's th that thing. It, idyllic life on the beach, still flexing. Yep, Washu and Temi, legendary janitor and Temi. Calm down just a bit. Taking piano lessons again. Hey, Metaton by Toby. There he is. There's Metaton. Oh, wow. This music's great. Vulcan. And Thunderplane. Finally confesses. What? I don't! Pyro. Candle in the world's largest birthday cake and Muffet spider success with a new bakery. Really, Muffet was was an absolute boss. Muffet should be there. Use your imagination. Nah, I'd rather not. Final frog and it wins a lot. The long battle finally ending, giving life its own meaning and antigmatism. Domineering glasses seller. <sighs> I like that face. Magic and night night. Take you all deserved nap and street magician. And then amalgamates question marks. Living with their families, all. Oh, oh, speaking of living with their families, Asgore. Oh yeah, I was gonna make um. I, I, someone said something about Papyrus's skull as a thing in the Monster Kid. Oh, Toriel has glasses. Oh, Toriel's a teacher because she also said she wanted to be a teacher. Oh, everything's happening. Everything's coming full circle. Sunset. The end. Oh no. No. I swear to God, no. Ha 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 ha. 
Did you really think it was over? Yes! Yes! I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. <laughs> Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Now, I want to say, people avoid the credits in the special ending. I'm going to do the opposite and get as many as I possibly can. Here we go! <laughs> I don't know why nobody tries to get them. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I got this. Why would I not want to get the credits? I mean, look. Just get as many as I possibly can. Look at all this. I'm trying to get the long names because, you know, you can um, get them easily. That's a really, really long name. How are you allowed to even have that? This music is just so epic. I'm just, I'm just listening to the music. I'm sorry for not talking. This music is just too epic. This music. I just I know I've I know I've listened to this so much already, but it's just every time. It's just great. I wonder how much I got. Touched credits. Oh. Okay, it's just the first ones. Okay. Welcome back. Thanks to the friends and family for supporting us, and Undertale team thanks you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. Oh wow, it faded back. That's it. And as the music plays, we will just let's collect our thoughts for a sec because this has been the end of Undertale. And it's. We came a really long way. And um, I wanted to just once again thank you from the bottom of my heart that you. Whoever it is that watched this, hopefully decided to stay and watch this. I'm glad you watched this finale. I'm glad that I got the chance to play this game. 10 out of 10, and I mean it. The sound, the pixel art, just the characters, the, 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 the emotion, the time went, the time spent creating these characters. Oh, there's the, the look, uh, there's the dog. There he is. But as I was going to say is that, you know, just, I want to put the dog under. Just the characters, just, they had such great and rich stories, and the stories just, now that you do the true ending, you can really figure out what happened, and I like that. I mean, I like it where it's hidden sometimes, but this, if you took the time to read the signs and such, you could find out exactly what happened, and it's a great story, and really, just a great game. So, I really thoroughly enjoyed with this game, and I'm hope that you enjoyed me playing it as well. This is Undertale, and this is only part of inter Intermission. So, we got Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows, and then we got other things going on. And 
That was weird. But anyway, as I was going to say, is that, you know, um, I'm going to do Play the Shadows, and then we'll just do random stuff with people from the Rift, um, and myself, I'll play games. Hopefully, it'll be fun playing with people. I think I'm going to make it a series with random reacts, just playing games with the Rift. And there's the dog. There we go. Come on. I said the end. I mean, I'm pressing enter. Come on. Game. Game. I said the end. Can I only close it? I don't want to close it. Crap. No, I don't have to close it. I, I guess I do. I'm pressing all the buttons I can. I close. Okay, well, there we go. I closed it. Um, I'm going to open it up again. Oh! Hi. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Well, there's one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. Me? You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power... I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? Sorry, Dad. Um, Eat what? Oh, okay. In a sec. I'm almost done. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything. I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. <laughs> let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. Oh, this is really emotional. But, if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, man guy.